Hello, today I'm going to show you how to reeve mechanical advantage for pulling over trees. You need a prusik mining pulley, that means a pulley with a bo flat bottom shivved, and they need to be double shivved. Two carabiners and two types of prusik cord. They could either be I and I, or they could be a loop type configuration like this. You also need an anchor sling to go around the trees you're working with, and of course, a rigging line or a pulling line to pull your tree. Carabiners require being loaded on the vertical axis or the spine. This is the barrel, the part that turns. This is the gate, the part that opens. The toe is what interconnects with the gate. And you can see that they're intricately connected. This is known as a key lock and you'd see the keyhole type finish. And that creates or completes the loop. How do we know that? Well, if we look at the minimum braking strength and see these two arrows, it's 40 kilonewtons when loaded this way. If we look at the other two arrows, that indicates a non-axis loaded situation where it loads like this, or perhaps like this. That drops now to 16. If it's loaded with the gate open, in other words, when this isn't connected, we drop from 40 to 11 kilonewtons. A kilonewton is 224.8 pounds. And uh, you always wanna make sure to load on the vertical axis whenever working with carabiners. I'm gonna put a carabiner in this eye to help identify it. This is the weakest part of the attachment of this swing where the splice is. You want to avoid clamping or tying knots against this part. Always be on the double part. I'm going to go around the tree, make a bite around the double part of the eye, and I'm going to wrap five wraps. That's one, that's two, that's three, this is my fourth, this is my fifth, and ideally come right back to the origin. Now I can adjust it so I'm pulling into the bite, again not on the berry, but on the two parts of rope. That's how you attach a timber hitch. Your English prussic here with this closed loop prussic, I'm going to go through, I got a two finger, now I've got four fingers, and I'm gonna go one more time, and that gives me my one, two, three, four, five, six fingered English prussic. Now I'm going to attach this to my carabiner, to my anchor sling. This keeps my prusik nicely attached to the vertical axis. I'm also now going to attach a prusik mining pulley to my system, and this helps keep it very nicely and aligned, and I have now installed my first step in my mechanical advantage. How to attach a French prusik to your pull line. Take your eye and eye prusik, lay it against your line, and begin wrapping it around the pull line. Wrap as many wraps as you can till you reach the other eye. The longer your prussic is, the more wraps you'll be able to achieve. You want at least five to seven wraps. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. An ideal number of wraps. Now a pull to dress the knot. Now I'm gonna take a second prussic binding pulley, going to install the pull line and clip it into my system. And now I have successfully reeved mechanical advantage for pulling my tree. As I pull, you can see the progress is captured by my prusik down here. If I for any reason was to slip or needed to let go, this keeps my tree and holds my progress or what I've pulled. Also, if perchance I had a lot of pull taking place and my pulleys came together, this is known as a two block situation. Now what I can do is set this prusik, and by loosening here, I can advance my French prusik, and I can continue on with my pull with progress capture. It is a fact that you can pull your own weight on a slow, steady pull, which is how you want to pull a tree when you're pulling a tree over when using chainsaws. You don't want to be jerking or tugging. That creates shock load. My 200 pounds here translates into 200, 400, and 600. I simply count the parts of rope acting on my tree. My 200 pounds input force here translates into 200, 400 anchor force. So I'm putting more force on what I want to do and less force on my anchor. And I'm moving away from the tree that I'm pulling. I have now reaved mechanical advantage and I know my input and output forces. These prusik binding pulleys are double shivved, which allows me to increase my mechanical advantage. By simply re-reaving the system, in the same configure as I did previous, I can now go from a three to one mechanical advantage and very easily increase my mechanical advantage from three 
to one, two, three, four, five. Now I have a thousand pounds acting on my tree. I do however need to note that in doing so, I've increased my anchor force by double. I have one, two, three, four hundred, four parts of rope acting on my anchor, which gives me an 800 pound anchor force and a thousand pound pull force.